In this video, we're going to go over the full letter to Brianna Bottle without me talking about my past experiences and stuff. So I can have the full 10 minutes just to talk about this letter, okay? So there you have the letter right there, right? Same format that I said before. So I just want to explain to y'all a little bit of the things I've seen. That's why there's a couple of videos. But let's get into it. Dear John L. And like I said, I read a piece to y'all. If y'all want to go back and watch it, she took a apology letter from uh, Google and she made rewrote it and made it her own, okay? And I read a couple of seconds of the beginning one on the other one. And you'll see that sounds just alike. But she put her own words into it. So anyway, here we go. I'm making this statement publicly because this is where it all began. I'm writing this today with a heavy heart and a deep sense of remorse for my past actions. And like I was saying before, like she needs to do the same thing for her husband. And I think people will take her more seriously and more people would forgive you for your actions because how you did that man was so wrong. Okay. And this is a man that showed to have no domestic violence and you call the cops on him and there's no proof that he abused you, but there's proof on the internet that you put your hands on him. The only proof I've seen on the internet that y'all both was verbally abusive to each other and that happens a lot in most relationships like who doesn't argue even though i'm not saying that that's okay because it's never okay mental and physical should never be okay all right but hands is totally different all right so upon self-reflection i want to take the opportunity to apologize sincerely for the hurtful statements i made towards you damn where's the period i made towards you on several occasions i thought that like, I'm, it's a run-on sentence, sorry. I'm like, what? All right, so I made towards you on several occasions. She said several occasions. So definitely several occasions, definitely. Like, how do people expect someone to forgive you when it's several occasions and not only that you did this to multiple people on several occasions so just imagine one person and then other people at the same time so it's like the girl that cried wolf this is like to clear your name because you're getting backlash on the internet or you signed that nda because you said something about you know i can't talk about it because i signed some papers that 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 anyway I made towards you on several occasions publicly on my platform and humiliation I'm subjected to. And I feel like she's like trying to clean stuff up too. Like she's really trying to clean stuff up. What's it called? Like damage control? In the moments of anger and frustration, I allowed my emotions to get the best of me. Instead of handling our issues privately, I lashed out onto social media that should have never happened, and I acknowledge the pain and the distress it must have caused you, and I want you to know that I am truly sorry and hurt and embarrassment inflicted upon you and your family. You should be embarrassed yourself, honey, because, like, that is crazy what you did. Mm-mm-mm-mm. And she says, in, a, in my moments of anger and frustration, I allowed my emotions, yes, baby impulsivity she has impulsivity that's what it is and i took psychology she does things off of impulse okay she soon as she's mad soon as her emotions soon as she's triggered she and those are people that you need to be real careful of is people that does things on impulse you are a person of great talent and i could never take that away from you you work hard to get where you are today, but you said that he doesn't have no talent. And you also mentioned that he got that he got where he got because of you, because he was no one before you. You got him where your fans is what's following him. Your fans is what's helping him. That body butter that he made. Oh, that cheap ass body butter. Remember that. So you just messed up his business. And guess what? You helped him with all that. But now you're retracting your statement. Okay? You work hard to get where you are today. We both deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. I deeply regret my actions and never and the negative impact that I had on you. 
You are not a monster like the image that was portrayed once others once others took the post and painted you to be a horrible person. No. You painted him to be the horrible person. You did this for them people to attack him. You painted it. Stop saying other people. People take what you say. You put this on the internet. Nobody paint him. Nobody would be saying anything about him because they don't date him. You're the one that's dating him and you're the one that's putting this out on it. If, oh, he spit in my face. He's the devil. Who painted him to be a horrible person? You did. Okay. This is not accountability at all. But you call this accountability? No way. Uh-uh. You are not the monster. And you said this is the same thing about your husband. You are not the monster. Remember that the 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 recording that her and her sister had? And she was like, um, her sister was like, uh, talking about the tote situation. She's like, um, yeah, I never said that he put his hands on me. I never said that he hit me and did this and that. And he is not a monster. They made him to be the monster. Something like that she said in the video. And she was like, um, and she was like, um, something about the tote. She's like, but the tote thing did happen. But he, I didn't say it like that. And people on the internet took my words and switched them up. No, you did. You put this stuff out there. Stop doing that. You turn it on your, y'all fans need to really listen to what she's saying. That she putting it all on y'all. No accountability. Okay, so let's keep going on. She said, you are not the monster like this image portrayed once others took the post and painted you to be a horrible person. Janelle is not an abuser. And this is not what I was trying to portray online, you're lying. Social media took the things I said and painted the picture of an abuser and I never said he was once one. I take full responsibility for the behaviors and the hurt, hurtful words that I utter. I understand the words have power and keep can leave, yes, lasting wounds and I vow to be more mindful of my actions and their consequences, yeah, the consequences that that's why he's ignoring you and not talking to you. And I believe that he's maybe a Aquarius, I, I don't know. And if he is, he's very nonchalant and very chill to himself. And they are very closed off people. And he's not going to take to your freaking um, emotions. No, they're not. And they're the water bearer, but they still air sign. And they don't take that shit very likely, okay? I hope that we can find a way to co-parent our children in a healthy and respectful manner. Putting their well-being above all else. I pray that God continues to guide us and help us grow as individuals as individuals not as a partner if you if you read this far thank you for taking your time to digest my reflections as i continue to work hold on to work through personal growth and development uh, development and preparing to welcome two additional blessings thank you for those who have continued to support me through my journey in life and i have always been the one to take accountability in anything i've done wrong i hope this teaches other women to do right their wrongs as well as neither parties are ever perfect there's absolutely nothing wrong with accountability and practicing what you preach this is not accountability baby not at all you just blamed everything on everyone else i'm gonna tell you what accountability is young lady accountability refers to the responsibility of an individual or an organization or an institution to answer to their actions decisions results of their conduct and not to blame and shift it on anyone else but on what they did to cause what they cause okay and it involves being answerable and transparent about one's choices and behaviors especially in relation to fulfilling obligation or achieving specific goals additionally okay accountability is essential for maintaining trust for maintaining relationship promoting ethical behavior and ensuring proper governance and various settings okay including personal professional and sociable context and you ain't did none of that okay all you did was say oh i'm sorry for these words that i said but it wasn't really me that said that you was this monster and this devil and this narcissist they just painted you out to be this big bad wolf okay 
it's like really the girl that crying wolf i don't know what y'all don't see but y'all have to see this is no form of accountability baby